you like coffee, and in K-cups especially, and uh, you drink a lot of coffee, uh, you're going to love me after this because you're going to save a lot of money. And that's because, well, I bought this one, this instant solo coffee maker, just because of the design. I saw it. Now, I tried one of these years ago, and they didn't work. They didn't work at all. I had something similar to this. But I bought this one just because of this. Well, I used it for about a week, and I loved it. It worked excellent. I mean, all you do is you know, put your coffee in there and you brew it just like a K-cup. And it with this, with this design, to me, it tastes real close. Well, I'm not even using this one anymore. I went to this because I wasn't, after I saw how good that one did, I wasn't aware that even Keurig has one that fits my machine. And I'm sure, I don't know why, they just do. And here is uh, the ones that'll fit. And, uh, and, and you, I don't know about all of them. I, I have one similar to this. It has the multi-stream, and uh, it works. It works excellent. Now, I'm going to show you about how much you can save because we're going to take this one right here. I'm going to open it up and weigh what's in there and see what's about how much is in there. Then we're going to do. We're going. We're going to put it in here to kind of give you an idea of about how much uh, coffee it takes. And that's what I've been doing every morning for now, probably three weeks. I did this for a week and I've been doing this for two weeks and, and uh, it saves money. And it's just as good as one of these. I may not drink, drink a cup tonight, but I'm gonna show you what to do. So y'all hold on, I'll be back. All right, I wanted to show this right quick because there is another step in case you have a Keurig. And I bought this one, I don't know, a few months ago and I bought it strictly just for that multi-stream technology and I do think that is a good idea but here is the way this comes out of the box just like that Now it has a sticker there obviously I broke it but on this device you don't need this piece you just take that off and then you do have to do this right here too you have to kind of I put this back in a while ago just to show you but you have to pull out that piece and then all you do is, if say you already had it loaded with coffee, you put the arrow right there to the back, just like that, and you are ready to go. Now, I got it turned off because I turned it on by accident while I go and it ran water. <laughs> but anyhow, it, uh, if I didn't, you'd see that it, well, it came on because I opened it, I guess. But anyhow, I don't know that. But anyhow, I usually do an eight ounce and I do a uh, medium strength. I don't know why I'm telling all that. Here, here's what matters. <laughs> This right here, if you want to clean it, you just, when, I mean, when you get ready, when you're done using it, you take this part off, obviously, and then you snap this, you kind of pop this right here off and dump your coffee out or put your coffee in, whichever method, whichever step you're in. And then you can see it has this, uh, these silicone stoppers right here for those four holes. And that's important to know because this will come off so you can clean it. Well, one time I almost did this backwards because it will go that way, but you just need to remember it goes on the side with that stem. And uh, I, I, I didn't use it, but I came close to putting it back in there because it'll go together like that because you can see it'll go right there. And then when you are ready to put it back together, you just, you just kind of put that on. It doesn't snap. It just goes on. And then you look for uh, that right there, and then you line that right there up. And you turn it and you are ready to go and again you put the air to the back you drop it in and there you go and uh i'm gonna tell you something it's it's just, well i like it a lot because you can change if you if you want it weaker you can you can put less coffee you can't put much more but you'll you'll see why you'll see why that's going on in just a minute so let's move to weighing the coffee and showing them what you need okay and one last thing just to make sure i kind of make this clear i don't know what devices this is needed in it's not needed on this one but it there's some it is so i, I don't understand i don't know that and i don't have one so you'll have to figure that out on your own okay so here is one pikes <clears throat> uh, pikes place roast k cup and you can see i've got this on here and it is tared so i'm going to open this up <clears throat> And we're going to dump that right there. And that gives us 0.4 of a fluid ounce. So you know what? Let's change that to 
uh, grams. I think that would probably be best. It's 12 grams. And there it is. That's probably the best measurement, but you saw what it was and it had fluid ounces or something. I mean, I could put it through all of them, but uh, I don't even know which at point four of a pound. I mean, there's a lot of things you could go to, but <clears throat> I've been using grams. Now, it just changed to 11, so it's around 11 or 12 grams. But here's the main important, here's the part that really matters. It's right at three tablespoons. You can see, well, if I get my finger out of the way, it's almost three tablespoons. Now, the next thing is, I'll show you what it looks like in here, because that's kind of what I do. I don't actually get out tablespoons and do all that stuff. I do this right here, and I hope I don't make a mess, but I'm going to pour that into here to show you about where that ends up. And right there. You see the max line? Well, I'm right under it. So you could get a little bit more in there, but, but not a lot. And then, for the record, we'll do it on the Instant Pot Solo. And it, let's see if it's got a max line. You know, I've never paid attention to that, but we're just going to go with it. Don't matter. I'm going to go right here. Same coffee, same everything. And you can see, this one almost is close. If, if there was a max line, I feel like we would be at it. But the point is, it can develop pressure, or uh, similar to what a K-cup does. A, a K-cup kind of, it, it gives a place for the pressure, the water pressure to kind of build and, and hit that, those grounds a little bit better. Now, I will say, the K-cup does have this. It has a uh, paper filter in it, and you will see uh, granules or whatever. But you'll notice it at the bottom of your cup, there'll be some dark liquid or granules at the bottom. It, it's not a deal killer for me. And if it were, you could probably get paper filters and put in there. But I'm going to tell you, this right here, and I've tried several different coffees now because I can, and it just works. So, anyhow, I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't think so. Well, yeah, I do. I'm going to show you the price on that. So I got to do the math on that, and I got pictures from Sam's or, or Costco or somewhere that I'll put in for this, and we'll compare it <clears throat> to what a K-cup cost and what this costs. But anyhow, I... Okay, so here's what you can expect to pay for this at Sam's, and uh, that's 40 ounces for $21.93. Let's go look at the cups. Okay, here it is in the K-cups, and it really doesn't matter what it weighs. There's 72 in there for $41.98, so we'll do our math and know what it costs Okay, here has been my findings. I've done a little math, and you can check me on this. I could be wrong, but there are my results, which comes down to uh, the, the numbers we got from Sam's, the Pikes Place, and all that, and it turns into 58 cents a cup, where this is only 23, which is a 35 cents per day saving, or $127 per year. Now, I bought that... Uh, that um, solo on amazon for like 69 dollars so you can pay for that in like six months that other cup i think was like 10 and maybe 12 dollars i don't know so you can say you almost pay for that in a month so i mean it is a uh, hard to beat uh and I'll, I'll say this too i don't always use the one that i make up i keep both kinds so Kerry, you still got me uh both ways but i do every once in a while just throw in a regular k cup and uh and it makes it quick and simple. And don't have, if I didn't have time to clean it out the night before and read it, it is a, it is a little bit to it, but it's worth uh, that kind of number, 127 a year, which mine probably works out to probably more like I don't know 100 a year because I, I use quite a few K cups. Might even be less than that. But anyhow, now y'all know. Hey, thanks for watching. Y'all come back to see me and have a good day.